It, it is a show for zero to fives yeah. and their parents and carers. Yeah. And we. It, there is lots of dancing, but we also have a bit of a structure to the show. So I host and DJ, and I have two dancers that work with me down on the floor with, the da with all the little and big people. So we very much encourage adult and child interaction mm. and make it a space that's free for them to go crazy together and have lots of fun. So where yeah. did the idea come from? Were you out and about? Were you out, out <laughs> on a night out? But you know what? This would be good for babies. Well, yeah. not so much. Um, <laughs> I've been a DJ for about 10 years, um, playing at arts festivals um, and comedy festivals like Edinburgh Fringe and Melbourne International Comedy Festival, that kind of stuff. And when I became a mum in 2010, staying up late became a little bit harder. So <laughs> the DJ sets that start at 3am and end at 5am, right. I wasn't really that keen on doing. Yes. Um, and basically having my own child, I got to see the way she responds to music when I would play vinyl and um, I basically also had done a little bit of work in early childhood theatre so I spoke to some of my colleagues and said yeah. hey what do you think about me putting together a baby disco and I pitched it to the Adelaide Fringe um, mega venue the Garden of Unearthly Delights mm -hmm. to play in their Spiegel tent and they said yeah sure come and do a season and the first season sold out and I've gone on from there so that was in 2012. <laughs> Excuse me, in 2012. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've gone on to play Melbourne, Adelaide, Tasmania, in the bush actually in Australia as well. And then I moved to London four years ago. So I've been playing here um, as well and at the Adelaide, Fre sorry, Edinburgh Fringe and various other festivals, Brighton, Hull. Stratford upon Avon. I've um, played all, all over the place. And what is it parents <laughs> parents love about this? Why, why yeah. are parents bringing their, their kids back and parents yeah. getting involved all, all around the world? Well, quite simply, I think when you've got um, very young children, it's quite difficult, particularly under three, it's really difficult to find places that you're able to take your children to and also where it's safe and fun. And lots of people have two kids that are under five, so it's somewhere we can take both kids together the, little, the littlest ones are just kind of taking it all in, enjoying the music, but even very small babies will start, you know, <laughs> bouncing their hands and clapping and that sort of thing. And then you've got the middle-sized ones who are kind of free form. It's like a, like a nightclub at 3 a.m. They're sprawled out, they're, you know, starfishing on the floor, they're doing whatever they like. And then you've got your slightly older ones who are following all the dance moves and like trying to coordinate. And uh, it's just so much fun for the parents because they get out, they all get to expel some energy together, have lots of fun and see how their children react in this environment, which is some of them just, you know, like really staring and kind of just taking it all in and others go crazy and people are like, I didn't know they liked dancing. You Pretty know? much like an adult disco, really. Pretty much. I guess ways. the difference is because most people are probably taken, um, there's not that kind of I have to be cool and, you know, I'm trying to pick up kind of <laughs> vibe isn't there. So instead it's like free and wobbly and, you know, crazy. I'd say with the home of, uh, the spiritual home of dad dancing, and the mum step so <laughs> I don't know all about that and um, when you're talking about the music itself yeah. what, what are we talking about here mixture of Kanye West and Humpty Dumpty yeah kind of I don't actually play any Kanye so far but <laughs> I'm very much a retro eclectic kind of DJ so I will play some 50s I'll play some pop I'll play retro world um, a bit of Latin um, but I do play children's music I know some other kids discos go oh we just play adult music but I'm, I'm not into that I think we need a bit of fun wiggly woo and a bit of rockabye bear so that's where we like do actions all together and can get into it but you can find some great alternative versions of classic songs for instance I always close with um, the toy dolls version of Nelly the elephant which is just <laughs> mind-blowing so um, yeah it's lots of fun and I really like mixing up adult and children's music and I would do that even when I'm just doing an adult gig anyway. So with, with all this success, <laughs> of all this following that you're getting, why, why just a summer thing then? Why, why not continue? Well, um, I guess uh, the London Underground has been my kind of home venue over the period and they're coming to an end. Um, I'm certainly looking for bookings over winter but I think partly because um, you can probably hear in my accent that I'm Australian, we'd been thinking about whether we moved back to Australia or not, oh. so I ended up not really booking anything in advance. Oh, yeah. But at the moment, I am staying in wonderful London. Um, I will be going back to Adelaide for the Fringe next February, so I'll do some shows over there, and then I'll be back again, and the summer will kick off, and it'll be back at Brighton Fringe and back at London Underground. So, um, But yes, it would be good to do a few, um, a few more London shows again.